Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how to create list using template and after that we'll see how to create our own custom list. So guys, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do it. Okay friends, so we have logged into Microsoft 365 Admin Center and here we will open SharePoint Admin Center. I will click on active sites so guys uh, these are my active sites I have created one site with the name of fly hub let's open this this is a classic site okay so this is my classic team site now in the fly hub site I will click on site content now we are on our site content to create a list we can click on new and then we'll click on the first option list you can see there are multiple number of templates to create a list Say for example, I will click on travel request. So this is a basically a template for travel request. I will open it and you can see what all columns it will offer you like the trip title, reason for travel, requester, destination, travel start date, travel end date and so on. These are the columns which this template will offer. Similarly, there are multiple more templates like employee onboarding. So according to the employee onboarding, these are the columns which this particular template offers. So we can simply click on use template. Let me click on use template. You can modify the name as per requirement. And here you can add the description about this particular list. Now there is an option of site navigation. If you want to show in the site navigation, you can check this box else you can simply uncheck this box. So let's create this employee onboarding list. Okay, so you can see the employee onboarding list. It has given you multiple columns like work, description, complete by and so on. Now we have to simply click on new and now you can see there are these are the columns which we can see over here. We have to simply enter the value here in these columns and our list will be created. Now I don't want to use this column. I want to create my own list and I want to customize it. So how it is possible. Now let's understand this scenario with an example. Say for example, I have a fly hub company, which is a ticketing company. So I want to create a custom list for my company. So how it can be possible because I, I don't want to use this template. I want to create my own custom list. So friend, let's see how we can create that. I will go to home. I will click on site content. First of all, let me delete this employee onboarding template because I don't need it. I have just shown you how to like create list using the templates. Now I will go back to home. Now let's see how we can create our own custom list. So in the in the site fly hub, I will click on add list libraries and other apps. It will take me to the your app section. Here we have an option of custom list. I will open this. Now we, we have to pick a name for our list. You can see you can add this app multiple times to your site. Give it a unique name. So I will give it a name. Flight details. Now I will click on create. So you can see my flight details custom list is created. Now if I will open it, you can see there is the only column of title and add column. Okay. So now I want to add more columns to this particular list. So for that, I will click on the gear icon. And now I will click on list settings. In the list settings, first of all, I have to create my own columns. So for that, I will click on this link, create column. Okay. So now we have to enter the name and type of the column. So first of all, I will enter the column name as passenger name. So after giving the column name passenger name, the type of information we want this column to hold. So it's a single line of text, multiple line of text, and you can see there are multiple number of options. So we'll select single line of text because we will only enter the name of our passenger. Now in the additional column settings, you can see we have to specify the details option for the type of information we selected. So the, now the option is required that this columns contain information. So I will select yes. Enforce unique values. No, there may be a possibility like we have a two passengers with the same name. So I will click on no. Now we can enter the maximum number of characters so you can see by default it's 
255 so we'll leave it as it is now the default value is we have to enter the text or calculated value so we will go with the text now there is another option of columns formatting so we can change the display for this column by adding JSO on below so we'll leave it all the setting as it is now there is option of column validation we'll maximize this there is a formula and other things so we don't need all these things as of now so we'll click on ok so now if I will scroll down you can see our column passenger name is created with a single line of text and by default there was one more column title which is already created so okay now the another column name I will select airline name so say for example my travel company only book tickets for only two flights one is Delta and other one is Air Asia. so I will select menu to choose from so basically I am giving the choice menu to choose from now in the addition column settings you can enter the description then there is an option of required that this columns contain information I will click on yes now in the enter the choice one now we have to enter the first choice which will be Air Asia, and the second choice will be Delta Airline so my travel company is only offering the ticketing for only these two airlines now I don't have any third choice so then there is an option of display choice using drop down menu radio buttons or check boxes so I will select drop down menu and now there is a another option of allow fill in choices I will leave it as it is then there is a default values choice yes because we make our choice from both these airlines and rest all the settings will leave as it is and now I will click on ok to create the another column so friends now we have to create another column so now I have to select the start location for the passengers so I will create a column with the name of start location now I will select the option of choice now here I will again select the required that this column contains information now my first choice is Delhi the second choice is Lucknow and the third option is Mumbai for passengers my onboarding will be from these three locations then there is option of display choice using so I will own, so I will select drop down menu now there is option of allow fill in choices I will leave it as it is in the default values I will select choice and again I will create this column again now I will create one more column with the name of end location again I will select this choice menu required that this column contain information I will select yes now my end location will be Dubai London and the third option will be Thailand now this time I will select the radio button to select from or you can select the check boxes according to your choice now we'll leave everything as it is I will click on ok now let's create a last column with the name of arrival time so we'll create a column once again let me enter the name of the column this will be date and time so we have selected this contains information I will select yes so we have selected required this column with the contain information yes then there is option of date and time format so we can select from date only or date and time so we'll select date and time then the display format you want a standard or a friendly I will go with the standard one then we have to enter the default value so none we can add any value then there is option of today's date so we'll select the today's date and we can enter the date in month day and year format so we'll leave each and everything as it is and now I will click on ok ok friends so I have added enough number of columns now let's see how to fill details inside this columns now I will go back to my site content I will open this particular list five flight details so you can see all the columns which we have added now they are listed over here like the title passenger name airline name start location and location arrival time now we have to enter the details inside this list which we have created so for entering the details I will click on new you can see all those columns which we have created are now listed here so in the title we can enter the mister now we have to enter the passenger name I will give a name Jack 
and now we have to select the airline name so i have only two airline name air asia or delta airline we can select any one of them so i will select air asia then we have to select the start location so the start location will be lucknow the end location will be london you can see in the end location we are getting the radio button option so the london this is the arrival time and if you want to add any attachment you can click over here and you can add the attachment now i will click on save so you can see all the details are now filled on this particular list similarly we can click on new we can add another name on this particular list i will give the name to passenger is ritika and i will select the airline name this time to delta and she will on board from mumbai to london and you can modify the time as per your requirement so she will be boarding the flight on 21st you can enter the time over here and now i will click on save and again if you have any sort of attachment you can click on the add attachment add any file as attachment on this particular particular list details now i will click on save so again my second passenger name is added similarly guys you can add multiple number of passenger details on this particular list so friends that's how we create a custom list inside our sharepoint site and we can create our custom columns and then we can add details to those particular columns that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video